So this is a model of Galloping Gertie, which is the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, okay, this is an example of resonance. Galloping Gertie was the nickname for the bridge and well, here you can see why. All this is is just the blower from an air track and a bit of wood which is suspended on some springs. That's modelling the bridge and the, yeah, the blower is modelling the wind. Hopefully you can see the point at which it really starts to take off and starts to vibrate with a really high amplitude. That's when the resonance is occurring. We're going to keep our explanation of resonance really, really simple. So listen up, this is all you need to say when you have to explain resonance. So resonance is where the driving frequency equals the natural frequency and you get maximum energy transfer, so you get a rapid increase in amplitude. That's pretty much all you need to say about resonance in your exams. This is a really common example given of resonance and nowadays engineers are really, really careful to know the natural frequency of the structure they're building and know that that's not going to match something really common like the frequency of the wind. Notice we've changed the stiffness here so we've therefore changed the natural frequency. So this graph is just if you increase the frequency you'll get these different amplitudes and you'll get this sharp peak at the natural frequency. So this is increasing the driving frequency, this is the amplitude of a oscillator. So in this case we change the natural frequency by adding another spring in series which makes the whole thing less stiff so it should lower the natural frequency. The natural frequency is the frequency at which an object will naturally vibrate if it's just allowed to vibrate. There are other examples though, look into the Millennium Bridge and also what an army does as it crosses a bridge. So this one's stiffer because it's got three springs in parallel with each other. So you see it's got a higher natural frequency because the time period of a mass spring system is given by the equation T equals 2 pi root m over k. So stiffer means shorter time period, therefore higher frequency. So this is all part of the SHM topic, which the definition of that is the force is proportional to the displacement from an equilibrium position, and it's towards that equilibrium position as well. So there's two ways to solve problems with resonance. One is to damp the thing, and so you're going to decrease the amplitude by taking the energy out of the system, and the other is to make a plastic change, so hence um, change its natural frequency. Thanks for watching everyone, and thanks for this ultimate squad here. Check them.